Hi guys, I'm going to do a very quick fingernail polish review. And of all the polishes that I did not bring, it's this one. And this is um, Essie Mint Candy Apple. And I really do like it. Um, I don't know about the coverage because it's actually over two other colors. It's over um, Bikini Sotini, which is like a periwinkle blue. And then before that, it was a white color. Both of those two colors were so sheer that I was really, really unhappy with them. And I typically have not been unhappy with Essie products, so I'm kind of wondering, has there been a formulation change for the summer or whatever? Um, actually, I think Bikini Sotini is not just this year, nor is the Mint Candy Apple. So I don't know what the deal is, but I do like this color. I think it's great for the summer. I think it's fantastic for spring. Mints are always very, very pretty. And that brings me to talking about um, we'll just get into the ones that I like. First of all, I love Ellen Blair Fowler's Skylark Collection. I don't think ellenblair.com. Actually, I think it's skylarkcosmetics.com now, but um, I don't know, but it's hard to find. I don't know. Go look up both of those. I'm pretty sure about ellenblair.com, but I think actually Skylark Cosmetics is what this is under now. But anyway... Yes, SkylarkCosmetics.com, so that's where you can find it. And I think even though they don't do um, the perfumes, I think they still may have the eye palette, and they may have the um, lip glosses. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they do have both of the uh, winter, um, fall, winter, and the spring, summer. There's two different collections. And this is from that, and this is Birthdays and Cabo, and it is one of my all-time favorite pinks. So, Ellen Blair, shout out, you got the pink. Perfect. I don't know if you can see that good. Can you? Anyway, Birthdays and Cabo. It's um, obviously a place that's very dear to their hearts. Their family apparently goes to Cabo. I think one time Ingrid and uh, Elle did a Cabo trip, and it's always on her birthday. So, that's probably why she named it this. But it's a very... It's a, it's not a baby pink. It's not a hot pink. It's right in between. It's like the perfect summer pink, and I absolutely love this color. It's in a lot of our videos if you want to see it. Um, there's some other pinks that I really, really love, and I'm just going to show them to you, um, and we'll end up looking at different brands, and I'll tell you why I like what I like. I do like this. This is by Dior, and um what I like about it, this is 579 Plaza. I, I don't think this is showing up good, so just trust me on the numbers. But um, this is um, a very good formula. It's a little on the thin side, but with two coats, it definitely looks fantastic. And in comparison, this is much more of a spring than a summer color to me. Um, I like the more neon and um, the louder colors for summer. Um, this is also another spring one, and it's one of my all-time favorites. This is by Essie, and it's called Secret Story. And I just think it is so pretty. And in comparison, again, I think it's very similar to the Dior. Um, but again, this is more spring. To me, this is more summer. Now, looking at different colors, this to me is just a good neutral year-round. This is by Essie. And certainly for summer, because it's the lighter color. And this is called Raise Awareness 767, but I think it also was a ballerina shoes color um, that they duped just to um, raise money for um, breast cancer awareness. And what's so funny is this is not even close to the pink color of the ribbon that they use. Actually, um, this Dior one's closer to the ribbon color. Actually, you know, with breast cancer awareness, they use pink for girls. Um, and there's many different pinks. But anyway, so this was one that Essie used, and I assume a portion of the proceeds went towards breast cancer um, research, etc. But I really do like this. This is um, obviously very, very pale, and it's very pretty. Another bright one, I love Sally Hansen anything. Um, she's got the nails down pat, especially the brushes. She has flat brushes, and I absolutely love them. I don't know if you can tell. I think I tried to show you all this on video, but you've seen them. It's it's just, it's wide on one side and not on the other. Look at that. It's it's just very, very flat. And so when you're putting it over your nail, it just spreads perfectly. They've, they've got the brush down. And does that matter? Well, it's one of the reasons I buy this product. Um, this is number 420 called Back to Fuchsia. And it's, again, a fantastic color for the spring. Um, that's not to say I wouldn't wear it any other time, you guys, just so you know. 
Um, but hands down, my, well, let me show you a couple others. Is that, no, that's more red. And that's more, okay. Hands down, my favorite pink is Chanel. Go figure. Y'all know that I already love Chanel. I promote Chanel. That's the only lipstick I wear. I love their eyeshadow quads. I love their mascara, even though I have not worn it the past few days and not had the itching eyes. So I have this horrible feeling that could be what's wrong, and I hate it because I love everything about that mascara. So come tomorrow, I am going to use that again and see do my eyes start getting irritated again and just use the same, um, I think, what shadow am I wearing? Oh, this palette right here, the Rainforest After Dark by Tarte. This, some people are like, that looks like the snake in the garden. I'm like, no, 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 it's a python from the Rainforest. Anyway. But it's that one. I'll show you. I don't know why I just haven't had this out on my desk. But anyway, that's it. It is great because it has both a cool side and a warm side. It's got both highlighter and contour and blush. It's really a great palette for just having in your tote or a gym bag or wherever you think, oh, I may have to put on makeup. I've totally forgot. Or um, I'm in a hurry. I'll have to put it on when I get somewhere or whatever. This is really good to have because it has so much in it. I've got other palettes that have everything in it too, though, so, but I do like it. I don't like the way it smells. It smells like dirt, and this is a probably a mineralized baked something, but anyway, I think it is, but it smells like dirt. Okay, so Chanel. Um, this polish is so pigmented that when I used the um, Essie to do this, it took several coats, and it's still thin and streaky. And I'm surprised because Essie doesn't normally, so I'm kind of frustrated with that. It may just be this summer's formulas. I'm not going to give up on them. But hands down, this never does. This has got the most wonderful formula, and it is the most perfect pink. It is called 541 Tintination, and it is the perfect um, shimmer kind of or satinized magenta. Magenta is a, a blend between pink and red, and it's my absolute favorite red. Now... It's not my favorite polish. As y'all probably know, I have a favorite polish. I'm going to show you what it is. And I'm going to show you some favorites that go with it. Well, first, we'll do these two. These are two more Chanel's that I absolutely love that are close seconds to my favorite. And this is Azure, which is 657. And it may be limited edition, guys. Get it. It's the most beautiful green blue. And it's metallic, kind of shimmer looking. It's just stunning on... And then this, I cannot tell you how many people compliment me when I wear this. It's just the most gorgeous, dark red. It's like a deep burgundy red, and it's 637 Malice. Again, I think you better go ahead and get it. It's got a brown undertone, but it is so red, and it is so gorgeous in fall and winter. My niece is like steals it from me when she's here so much. I just went and bought her one. But um, all-time favorite is 667 Belargus, and it is the most beautiful blue I have ever seen. When it's on, it has this color blue, and it almost has a purple undertone to it, but it is the most beautiful blue, but the most beautiful nail polish of all time, in my opinion, and the formula is perfect coverage, excellent wear. Um, these little tops, by the way, I don't know if you know that, come off, and it's just the little, you know, kind of looks like an Essie, actually. Mm -hmm. Look at that tiny bit smaller, but every penny worth it. It's not cheap. They're 30 bucks. And you're going, what? I'm telling you it's worth it. Okay, and then there's another one that's kind of similar as far as the look, and I do like the formula, and that is the L'Oreal with the gold tops, and this is in number, it's called the Muse's Attitude. This is in uh, 791, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous dark green blue. It's just like the darkest teal you've ever seen. It's on the green side of teal. Very, very, very pretty. I gotta go faster than this. Everybody knows OPI is huge. Um, I'm just gonna tell you my favorite OPI, and that is this Pagoda Blackberry. I know that Elle Fowler says this is one of her favorites, but it's a great fall color because it's a true burgundy in the fall, but it almost has a warm gold undertone somewhere in there. And I absolutely love this for fall. It's one of my favorite fall colors. Um, this is another one that I love at Christmas time. This is Zoya, and it's called Sarah. 
and it is just a sparkly Christmas red. I love it. It's got a gold undertone too. Um, my all-time favorite, but I I bought this in Paris on my honeymoon, and it's Bourgeois, and it's number 74, and it says Rouge Venise, and I love it. And I wore this on my honeymoon. It's truly red. It's red. Sexy red. Um, here's another sexy red. And this is from Marc Jacobs. Of course, we love the packaging. And this is called 136 Desire. Is that great packaging, by the way? Here's another one. I, I couldn't help buy the packaging. It's just, it's just, aren't these cute? They're just adorable. Who makes packages like this? And when you take the top off, it's fairly easy to use. Uh, this one is 140 Petra. And it's the weirdest, topiest, silveriest, goldish, bronzish. I don't know how to describe it. I love it. Um, I do like Revlon's Colorstay Gel Envies, and that's one of my faves. This blue is called 440 Wild Card, and I think Amelia Liani. Liana. I always say Liani. Why? Uh, uses that a lot. Um, Y'all saw me earlier in the year. I went stark raving mad about this color. This is from Lancome, and it's uh, just number 557. Look how deep that blue is. That looks so cool any time of the year, but certainly in spring, but just any time of the year. Winter, like in January, that's just such a, a freezing cold blue. It's just beautiful. I love this blue. Um, it may have been limited edition. If you can get this, go get this. So this is a very, very unique blue. Just to show you the difference, here's my Azure. Um, well, for one thing, this is a pure cream. And that's it. So it's got that blue color to it. See how they're kind of both deep, be beautiful cobalt blues. But this is a purple undertone in the shimmer. This has no shimmer. So it's just cobalt, cobalt. I love it. And when you compare it to something like this, um, that's just a really pretty cream as well. But it's not quite as bright or um, rich. Um, so I really love that. Um, this is another one I'm absolutely crazy about this brand, you guys. If you don't have nail teenies, get a few of them. They're all named after different kind of cocktails, but this one's called a Mai Tai, but that is the best orange I have ever used. And the coverage and putting these on, it goes on so smooth and it stays on forever. Really good product, nail teeny. Uh, another Sally Hansen product that I absolutely love is the Insta Dry. That almost looks like what I have on, but that I was trying to get the Tiffany blue out of this one. And this color is 425 Blue Away, but I love that this dries in like five minutes. And I mean, a good dry. Another one that I absolutely love is uh, Borghese, and this color is Lestrada Rose. And I just love the packaging, it's so elegant looking, isn't it? Isn't that just beautiful? Look at the twisted top. That's just so classy. And it, again, it has a really good brush on it. Beautiful uh, color, Lestrade Rose, one of my faves. And then this is interesting because I love both of these Yves Saint Laurent, and they must have changed their packaging because look at the size difference. <laughs> this is my older one, so they got smaller. I guess it saved money. Um, and this is color 19, and it's more of a fuchsia cream, and it's just gorgeous. Of course, this is one of those that the top comes off. Hello, am I right? Or does this one not? Yeah, see, it's really that. And you put the little top on just like the, usually the higher end ones do that, just so you know. Um, and then this one, yeah, that comes off again. Um, and then this one, I absolutely love. I got the blue, the green, and the red. And again, Amelia Liana got me looking at those that color combo for spring. And this number is too long. That cannot be what this is. Okay. I don't know the color on this. But it says 62 L is in Larry 500. Come on, guys. There's got to be a color on this. It just says La Color Couture. Why wouldn't you give a better name than that? But anyway... It's a true tomato red. Look how red that is. I'm trying to find my other red. It's just truly red. That's red. Look at the difference. It's more tomato-y. But it has good coverage. I like it. And then I would say not last but not least, but it is least. I'm not that impressed with Deborah Lippman, except that is that just having a party in a bottle? Glitters are so hard to get off, but um, that is also a very tiny product. Anyway, I enjoy it, and uh, I paint my nails almost every other day. 
if not every day. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this season. Bye.